What's going on treasure hunters? It's Josh back with another metal detective video. It is July 4th, so happy Independence Day to everybody out there. And uh, today I am at our uh, local park uh, where they just had the fireworks last night. Um, so I'm gonna metal detect around here and see what I can find. So far, I got a huge washer. It's been there for a while. This is a couple inches under the ground, but we'll see if we can't uh, find anything that someone dropped or left on the ground and uh, hopefully we'll have some good luck. So go ahead pinpoint the thumbs up button, smash it, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know every time I put out a new video. All right guys, let's get out there and find our treasure, let's go. Looks like we've got a vape pen. I think that's what that is. Yeah. On to the next. This one's under a bit. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I was hitting like a 55 on the AT Pro. It's a pull tab. Yeah, that was it. All right, got one in the plug here. Oh, fell out. Yeah, old pull tab. Alright, so this one was uh, hitting a 70 on the on the AT Pro, but it sounded more like something from a signal that sounds like something in the 50s. I'm gonna see what this is. All right, it's in the plug. It's a penny. Yeah, this one didn't sound like a penny. It, it was ringing up like one, but it didn't sound like it. That was really corroded. Oh well. It's like a 72, it's gonna sound like a penny. So of course I thought this was going to be another pull tab, so I wasn't filming, but it's a nickel. What do we got here? Two thousand one. All right, that's some money. All right, scan the hole again when I stood up. And there's another quarter or dime signal in here. Let's see, where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, what do we got? Oh, it's a penny. 75. 1975. All right, now I think it's clean. All right, it's like a 40, a couple inches down. So I'm gonna dig this one for sure. Ah, that's it right there. What was that? 
Oh man, it's the foil wrapper. All right, I think it's good. All right, at a solid 71 signal. It was right on top of the plug when I flipped it, and it is just a corroded penny. All right, I was getting another uh, 47, uh, 48, 49. So I dug, I think, oh, there it is. Just uh, another aluminum foil, I think. Oh yeah, this is part of a pull tab for a can. Good signal. Got an interesting 76 signal right here. Kind of chirping at me a little bit. Right up near the top. Oh, probably gonna be this. bottle cap. Really haven't found any surface finds yet. I'm just digging any good signals I find, but nothing on the surface yet. I had a 55 signal on the plug. Get in my, oh, what do we got? Ah, pull tab. That was going to be a nickel. All right, my first surface find was just a pull to a zipper, and uh, that's it so far. It's pretty clean here. I'm surprised. Um, there's a lot of people that this attracts, so we're gonna keep going though. All right, we got another aluminum foil signal. Oh, what's this? What is this? It's like a little bracelet or something. Got some junk metal for the chain. And then a little charm here. Also looks like junk metal though. That's cool. Probably a little bracelet. No, maybe not. It's like a little too small to be a bracelet. All right, cool. All right, let's keep going. Cool. Now, this one's near the surface. It's in the 75, so it might be a bottle cap or a penny, probably. Yeah, bottle cap. We got Maybe a surface find here. Maybe just under the surface. It's hitting the 80, 81. Oh, there we go, I think. Ah, another cap or a bottle cap. Yep. Got one hitting in the 40s. Probably a bottle cap though.
There it is. Ah, big piece of aluminum foil. That's getting a really high pitched 86 signal. Pretty close to the surface. I, I uh, lowered the sensitivity so I could try to focus on surface finds or near it. Oh, there it is. I think it's a quarter. And a really good signal here. Looks like a clad quarter. Yeah, 2005. All right, love finding quarters. Got a 82 signal here. Ah, bottle cap again. Tons of these out here. I had quite a few finds since the last find, but it's usually bottle caps and such. Uh, so I'm not filming all of them. But uh, if I get a good signal, I'll definitely turn the camera on. Ah, uh, bottle hat, bottle cap again. That was a 72 on the AT Pro, so I dug that one. All right, just dug this one, got ourselves a dime. And that is clad 2008. Let's see if there's anything else here. Yeah, there might be. I'll throw this in the bag real quick. Let's see what else we got. Another dime. 1988. Oh, I think we got another one in there. A little coin spilled, possibly. And a penny. 1989. What else? That may be it. Oh, there's something else over here. Ah, uh, we got some uh, can slaw. More, yep, more cane slaw. All right, what else have we got here? This is closer to the coins. Nope, cane slaw again. All right, cool. All right, just dug into the plug and I think we got a coin in here. I thought I saw one. Yep, it's a penny, 1985. It's in a pretty wild signal on this one i figured i better film it i got some plastic right here might be cancel law no nope. oh, it's just a bottle cap all right we're hitting a 40. let's see what we got here Ground's getting pretty dry. I'm gonna have to cut 
probably be finding myself in the lake here soon. Maybe tomorrow, actually. Everyone will be leaving the campgrounds and everything and should open up the swimming area pretty well. Uh, we just have some uh, paper here, aluminum wrapping. So hopefully I'll get out in the lake tomorrow. Have another good year like we had last year. We'll see. All right, we'll do another live dig here. I got a 72, 70, 72 on an inch or so down. Yep, there it is, it's a penny. Another nasty one. Right, got another 80, 81. Close to the surface. And we got a dime. It's a dirty one. 1996. All right, take a dime. Okay, we've got another 80-81, probably another dime. And it's a penny. 1980. I got a pretty interesting find in here. It's like a big piece of steel. I gotta try to dig it out if I can. It's in there pretty good. All right, just popped it loose. Oh man. Not sure what this went to. That's pretty heavy too. I'll throw it in the bag. Got a surface find. It's a penny, 1996. I'm making my way over to the sand volleyball courts. I'm gonna check in here and see if I can't find some coins. Nothing yet. There's something. 74, 75. Let's see. There you go. You got a penny out of it so far. 1997. My son found uh, the back of an earring back here once in the sand, and I believe that was uh, sterling silver. It had the 925 on it, and uh, that was a pretty cool find. That was one of his first finds too. Here we go. I got an 83, 82. We got another coin in here, I would imagine. Yep, that's a penny. 1982. This is the back where they serve 
the ball from. So sometimes they do like, you know, jump serve. And you got coins falling out of the pockets. We'll go search up against the net here in a minute. Where is it? There it is. Another penny. 2000. Right, not bad. I'm gonna crank the sensitivity back up a little. Not a whole lot going on in here though. Right, I'm on the other side of the net now, just under, pretty much going underneath the net. Got a signal here. Trying to chase down. Oh, I think it's a nail. Yeah. Get that out of here. A little barbed wire or something. I think there's more in here. All right, got a nail. Pulled about three or four nails out of the sand. Um, so that's good, got that cleaned up. Um, yeah, this is a nasty one. I'm just at the base of the tree here next to the volleyball court. May hit up that other court. They got one more sand volleyball court over here. Uh, probably go check that one out too. Got a 80 81. And it's going to be an old bottle cap. About a 40, 41 right on the surface here. Oh, and we got another wrapper. Now look at this old spike here. Like an old square nail. Thing's huge. Definitely a spike. And that was right here in the corner, just under the sand in the volleyball court. That thing's pretty funky right there. You don't want to step on that. I had a 72 and pulled out a penny. I'm right next to the, um, just outside of the volleyball courts, but I'm going to start heading back towards the car. See what we can come up with. Okay, a nice tone in the 80s. If I can't. Find it. Here it is. That's a Canadian penny. Man, 1964. That's a penny, though. Cool. Man, it's getting hot out. 
and I'm calling it a day uh, for detecting here at the park after the 4th of July fireworks. Um, I did okay. I got a ton of junk as expected uh, and some coins and a piece of jewelry. So I'll just flip the camera around and uh, give you guys a quick wrap up of what I found today. All right, so there's a couple, here's a big old washer here and this big chunk of steel. Almost looks like it went to like some kind of a disc or something maybe to a tractor. Um, I'm not, I can't verify that. I've uh, got a vape stick and a whole bunch of bottle caps, foil, the like, you know, all that stuff. Some nails. Most of these came out of the um, the beach volleyball courts too, which was pretty crazy. Uh, so it's good to get all that stuff out of there. And then I believe this is 74 cents in uh, clad change with the 1964 Canadian penny uh, or one cent and then a piece of jewelry so this is just uh some you know junk jewelry but um it's still cool to find that so you guys thanks for watching appreciate it and uh seriously tomorrow uh, i'm gonna try to get out again uh, but this time in the lake after everyone goes home uh from the weekend and from the campgrounds and wherever it may be and uh hopefully i'll be able to find some more treasure out there tomorrow in the water and, and keep cool out there in this uh heat that we're having right now so um Happy Independence Day, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining me on this treasure hunt. And I hope you get out there and find your treasure. Pinpoint the thumbs up button, smash it, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification so you know every time I put out a new video. All right, guys, get out there, find your treasure.